Good morning. Welcome to the 13th Annual Face of Hope Breakfast. I'm Fred Duncan, the Executive Director of Little Red Door Cancer Agency. I'd like to start this morning by saying thank you to you for taking the time out of your morning to log on to yet another Zoom call. Many of you know that the Face of Hope Breakfast is one of my favorite days of the year. I love getting a chance to see and interact with our friends. I love getting the chance to meet new friends who come to the Face of Hope Breakfast. It's always very, very humbling for us to see more than a thousand people show up at the fairgrounds for our Face of Hope Breakfast to learn about us and to make gifts that help us to do our work. This year, it would be much nicer if we could be in person. I like being in person better than I like being on video and in a virtual format. However, I will say that this year, the Face of Hope Breakfast experience has again been humbling and inspiring for us. This morning, we have more than 100 virtual table captains. We've already raised more than 75% of the amount of money that we would have raised last year at this time. The gifts have come from all over, California, Texas, New York. It's really inspiring to us to know how many people are willing in this difficult year to step forward and to help us be successful. So thank you to the table captains. This event is not successful without you and without the work you do to encourage people to make a gift and to come. I'd also like to say thank you to our board of directors. You guys know that I love them. I think we have the best board in the city of Indianapolis. And this year has proven that they are in fact an amazing group. They've stood with us, they've helped us, and they've had us, helped us figure out how to make it through the COVID pandemic. You know, all the things that were canceled this year, cancer was not one of them. This year, we've done as much work as we did last year and the very basic needs things that we provide to low-income and medically underserved cancer patients in Central Indiana. That's why the Face of Hope Breakfast is so important to us. The funds we raise here today will allow us to provide transportation, nutritional support, medical supplies, navigation services, camp for kids with cancer, all the things that we have been doing for so many years. This year we'll make more than 25,000 trips taking folks to and from chemotherapy, radiation, and other doctor's visits. We're going to provide more than 125,000 meals through our nutritional supplement program. That program is so important for folks as they're going through the cancer treatment journey and as they struggle to maintain enough body weight. We've also continued to provide medical supplies, adult diapers, wheelchairs, walkers, uh, all the things that people need as they're going through the journey. We did have to modify that programming. Instead of folks coming to our locations and picking it up inside the building, we've done curbside delivery and used volunteers to drive those things to folks. We've also added some new programming this year by partnering with Gleaners Food Bank and Second Helpings to get food boxes and prepared meals to our cancer patients and their families so that they can minimize the trips that they make out and then minimize the exposure that they have to risk for the COVID virus. We decided to keep our transportation program exactly as it is because while there might be some worry about riding with a stranger to cancer treatment, we know that not going to cancer treatment is an enormous risk factor for a poor outcome from your cancer treatment journey. So we remained committed to doing that work. Additionally this year, we've had to change the way we deliver our survivorship programming. We refer to that programming as Door to Wellness. That's the massage therapy that we provide here at the agency. It's fitness classes and yoga classes. It's cooking classes and psychosocial support groups. We knew that we were unable to do those in person with cancer patients. So we migrated as much of that programming as possible to Zoom, to Facebook, to Instagram, and to other virtual platforms. We've had a fair amount of success doing that. And frankly, when we get back to some normalcy next year and we begin to do those things in person again, we will continue to do them virtually as well because we have found that folks can participate in those no matter where they are anywhere in the world. And now I'd like to share a little montage video of the survivorship program that we've been doing online. We think it's pretty effective and I hope you enjoy it. Welcome to Gentle Hatha Yoga with Little Red Door, Door to Wellness. My name is Melanie. I'll be doing demos um, from my humble apartment uh, for 
the next couple weeks as we are in quarantine. We'll do a live stream uh, at noon every Wednesday and Thursday. And feel free to join me. We'll do doing different recipes. Um, I'll try to put stuff together that I have in my pantry. Hopefully you have in your pantry um, to continue some of this programming. Hi everyone. Thanks for joining for another week of self-care with me, Marlena, the massage therapist at Lower Red Door. Um, today we're going to talk about um, lymphatic drainage. Um, just some tips that you can do for yourself um, while you do your self-care um, at home here. Today we'll be talking about um, some breathing exercises which will help you with your health um, as well as I'm going to share some acupressure points that you can do it to yourself and how to do it. Do a cooking demo. My name is Mike and I'll be cooking for you today. Feel the energy from Mother Earth. It's a healing energy. It's entering in your body through your feet. Exhaling hands back through heart center. This is the final result. It's a nice, easy little bowl. Has chicken, has a lot of stuff on it. If you want to add egg, you can. If you want to add other veggies, you can. And I'm just going to massage in little circles around the joint. That's all for today. From the little red door, where we make the most out of life and at least out of cancer since 1945. Until next time, my friends, stay safe. I hope you enjoyed seeing the survivorship program that we've been doing online. And I'd like to encourage you, if you'd like to participate in that programming, to log on to our Facebook page. That's where we keep most of that information because it would be great if you watched a cooking demonstration with Mike. I know you would like it quite a lot. Little Red Door operates the second oldest camp for kids with cancer in the United States. We have a residential weekend at Bradford Woods that we've been doing for more than 40 years. Additionally, we've grown that program to include an urban day camp and family camp weekends both spring and fall. This year, of course, camping was not an option for us. So we moved our camp experience onto Instagram and had great success. What we hear the most from our kids and from their families about camp is they appreciate the opportunity to be together, to know kids who are going through the same thing that they're going through, to share their experiences. And Instagram provided a great platform for that. So at this time, I'd like to turn the, the program over to Colton and Scott, one of our camper families, to talk about their experience with our virtual camp. Colton, thanks for joining me. You're welcome. I guess you didn't have much of a choice since this is your house and your couch. Yeah. All right. Colton, tell me a little bit about your story. When were you diagnosed with cancer? 2018. And 2018. What month of, in 2018? Um, June. Well, isn't June also your birthday? Yeah, three days after my sixth birthday, I was diagnosed. You were diagnosed with cancer three days after your birthday? Wasn't a very good birthday. Doesn't sound like a good birthday at all, huh? Mm-mm. Colton, how many years have you been going to the Little Red Door camps? Two years. Two years. So now we fast forward the movie to 2020. Dun, 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 dun. dun. We're quarantined. No one is going anywhere. Little Red Door, what do they do? Do they close up their doors? Do they close shop? No. What do they do? They go virtual. virtual. All right, so tell me a little bit about the virtual camp uh, that you did this summer. So they send a box of supplies that we did, which were crafts, and we did, we baked. You baked? Mm hmm So let me get this straight. So instead of the little red door asking the parents to go out in town and find all the things that we needed for all the supplies, for all the activities, mm -hmm. you got a box full of all the supplies that you needed for the entire week in advance? Pretty much, just not food and stuff. Just not food, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But you got everything else? Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. And what a relief for the parents who didn't have to go out and do that. They had it all planned. Yeah. So how did you meet your the other campers? What did you guys use? We did virtual Zooms. You guys did Zoom calls? Mm -hmm. How did that go? Good. I thought, so what I saw, I thought it was going to be a bunch of kids and it was going to be a bunch of counselors trying to herd those cats. Mm -hmm. And instead, it actually went very, very well. In fact, most of the, those Zoom calls that you were on were better than any of my Zoom calls that I'm on for work. Well, those are probably a little boring. Well, that's true. They are definitely <laughs> more boring. We're definitely not baking cakes. Mm -mm. Any last words for the Little Red Door Agency? You can look right at the camera and tell them. Thank you, guys.
we just want to say from the Miller family, thanks so much to the Little Red Door Cancer Agency. You guys have been an awesome network for us, uh, for me as a parent, for Colton as a patient. Um, you know, I was really trying to uh, put it put it into words um, on our feelings towards the Little Red Door, and we were at the clinic today, and the flyer is still up for new patients, and I talked to them again about the Little Red Door Agency today. Um, but thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, thank you for everything that you, you have done for Colton and for all of the cancer patients in and around Indianapolis. Um, Little Red Door is truly uh, one of the best agencies in the city. And uh, for me, it was one of the agencies that I didn't know I needed until I needed them. And uh, you all stepped up right on time and you are right there. Thank you so much. Many thanks to Colton and Scott. They're a really great family and we have been privileged to get to provide folks like them with some help as they're going through the journey. Like everything else that we've been doing, I suspect that next year when we go back to in-person camps, we will additionally have expanded virtual interactions for our kids and their families to be able to keep connected over the course of the year. Like so many other things during COVID, perhaps change has just been accelerated, but there have also been great ideas and great examples of the ways in which we can, re we can reach more people. So thank you, Colton. Thank you, Scott. And I hope that you'll participate uh, in our pediatric programming next year. Each year at the Face of Hope Breakfast, we generally bring you a video or two about a client's experience. They're great videos. In fact, they could be segments on the Today Show. But this year, we thought it would be nice, instead of doing that, to invite our clients to actually make their own videos, telling their own stories in their own words. So we sent out a call and said, who would like to make a short video that we could share with the folks at the Face of Hope Breakfast? We had a great response. Here's a little grouping of some of those for you to see. Hi, my name is Laura Henderson. I'm a two-time breast cancer survivor. One morning I uh, was listening to Child 13, I believe it's Anne-Marie Tiernan, in which she does her health watch or health, uh, healthy uh, program. And she was talking about uh, cancer um, and yoga. And I thought, yoga, wow, you know, that, that sounds really good. I used to love to do yoga. And um, so I, I text the number she gave and um, the lady texts me right back mm -hmm. uh, to my surprise. And her name was Melanie and she told me of the program here and invited me to come. It took me a little while to come and she texted me back again and said, are you coming? And I came and um, the rest is kind of history. I've kind of fallen in love with this place. The instructors here, um, even to the receptions, they're just so welcoming. Um, you just, it just feels family here. Um, and um, just, I, I just feel whole again. I just feel like a new person again. Hello, my name is Chris Willard, and I have been a radiation therapist for over 40 years. Eight years ago, I started a patient navigation program at the IU Simon Cancer Center in Radiation Therapy. Little Red Door was one of the first resource organizations I was introduced to and found the organization to be nothing but special. They are one of a kind and help so many underserved residents of Central Indiana. That's a good place. Anybody that's dealing with cancer, going through radiation, chemo, so I think it's a, it's a good place to come. And I welcome it. And, um, and it, it, it also is a place that makes you feel comfortable and right at home. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Good morning. My name is Penny. Um, I've been coming to Little Red Door for almost three years now. Um, they brought me out of my shell to take me to my um, treatments every day. I mean, five days a week. Thank you very much. My name is Steve Curry. I was diagnosed with terminal cancer in 2017. Unfortunately, had a major car accident this year which led me to the Little Red Door, and I'm so thankful that they were there and able to assist. Uh, loss of a car with weekly chemotherapy treatments made it very difficult to make those treatments. The Little Red Door Society has stepped in, come to my aid uh, in several ways. The first is with support. Everyone is so nice and so caring and just dedicated to helping those of us that need it uh, get through it. So I would encourage you to join me I will not stop fighting this. 
I've told people for four years now that cancer will not get me and it won't. Uh, I should have died in 2018 according to statistics. So speaking uh, as someone who's passed their expiration date, we appreciate what you do. We appreciate what you give. And you have no idea how it impacts our lives and allows us to keep fighting. So support the Little Red Door. Volunteer if you can. Do whatever you can to help those of us who are fighting this. You know, fighting every day to survive, fighting to live, fighting to make sure that our lives have value, not only for ourselves, but for our community. I can't thank you enough. I can't thank Little Red Door enough. Just keep doing what you're doing. I can't say enough good things about Little Red Door. Um, between exercise classes, talking with other patients about their issues with cancer and the networking, um, sometimes little parties and um, events that just fun things to go to to gather with other patients. That that's what I really like about Little Red Door. Hi, my name is Deanna Wesley and I am the director of the Embrace program at Eskenazi Health. Um, I've been doing this for a long time and I can genuinely tell you that the support and services that Little Red Door offers to our patients every day is truly remarkable. You know, I, as all of you are well aware, a cancer diagnosis is a life-changing event. And when you are facing challenges in your life um, prior to a cancer diagnosis, you know, such as limited access to transportation and food um, and just general support, it's a truly devastating experience and um, our patients often face a lot of those challenges. So I can tell you that there is not a program um, in the nation, um, let alone our community, that we have more respect and appreciation for than Little Red Door. They truly are changing the lives um, of our patients. And because of the access to support, such as transportation to their appointments, access to food and nutritional supplements that are so important when you're going through cancer treatment, because of those things, our patients are having better outcomes. And they are um, feeling a greater sense of hope because they know that there are people here in our community that care and, and want to go the extra mile to make sure that they have everything that they need. Thank God for the little red door. And uh, it's been, uh, I've been blessed to have them in my life and to um, help me survive and to help me fight another day. Thanks to all the clients who took the time to make a video to send to us. You know, in my time here, one of the things that I have learned from our clients is that they really love the opportunity to share their stories, especially if their story is going to inspire you, our donors, to give a gift that will help us to help more people who come along behind them. So thank you. We really appreciate that work. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to one of Little Red Door's best friends, Jim Schultz. Jim is a longtime board member and a great friend to us at the agency. In fact, he's the only table captain who has had a table at all 13 of our First of Hope Breakfast. Jim, I'm going to turn it over to you now to finish the program out. Thanks, Fred. Good morning, everyone. Again, my name is Jim Schultz, and I've been involved with Little Red Door for over 15 years. And this is my 13th year as a table captain. As you can see, I'm coming at you from the actual kitchen here at Little Red Door. So what better place in here for the breakfast? They also promised to keep the shine down on my head a little bit. So hopefully it's not too much of a glare for you. Look, I really appreciate you guys being here for us. You know, we're all nervous doing this through Zoom meetings and so forth and trying to make a difference. But you know, we're trying to help those out that are struggling even more this year. COVID has hit everyone hard, we all know that. And now we're working with Zoom meetings and team meetings. Family events are canceled, weddings are canceled. It's very, very difficult for everyone and we know that. But think about it from the cancer patient side. Think about how much more difficult it is for them now. How are they gonna to get to their treatment? How are they gonna get the food that they need? How are they gonna find out what the next best step is for them through their whole treatment process? Well, that's what we're here for at Little Red Door, is to help them on that journey 
and help them get through those issues. You know, the past year, I've actually dealt with some cancer in our own family. Luckily, that family member had a very strong supporting network to get him to the treatment that he needed, to give him the food that he needed. Not everyone has that. And again, that's why you're here today. You're here to help us at Little Red Door make a difference for all of our clients here. So when you sit back and think about what am I doing here today, how can I help? First of all, every single gift you give is going to help. Whether it be $1, $100, $500, every dollar you give will help. Every dollar will help feed someone, help get them through transportation, help them through an education class, help them through a yoga class. Every dollar is going to count. So I'm gonna go through a bunch of numbers for you. I'm gonna tell you how you can help out, but I really want you to think through what you can do and help make this year even better for people having to deal with cancer. So a gift of $100 can provide a new wig for a woman facing a cancer diagnosis. $250 can provide 10 massages from Little Red Door's oncology certified therapist. A gift of $500 can provide 120 yoga sessions to cancer patients and survivors. And $1,000 can give a child the summer of a lifetime at Camp Little Red Door. $2,500 can provide an entire 12 week Live Strong course for eight cancer survivors. And a gift of $5,000 could help 45 clients in active treatment get the vital nutrients that they need. And finally, a gift of $10,000, well that can help 30 clients get to and from all of their cancer treatment appointments. Well, that's all the giving levels. And as you can see, I'm wearing my readers and trying to read it because I'm old and can't see as well. But listen, every gift you guys give helps us out. Every single dollar helps all of our clients here. Now, the last thing I want to do is tell you how can you give. I'm going to have to put these back on again and look like my father. But there's about four more bullet points here that I want to run by you. First of all, talk to your table captain and click on the Zoom invite that he gave you. And you give directly through that. Or take out your phone and text FOH to the number 91999. You can also give at littlereddoor.org slash FOH and click the donate button there. And if you'd like to make a gift of stock, check, or through some type of community foundation, please let your table captain know or anyone at Little Red Door. It's been a tough year for everyone. We know that. It's been a tough year for our clients here at Little Red Door. I want to personally thank you again for all your help over all these years. If you ever need to learn more about Little Red Door, please feel free to reach out to your table captain, to me, or to the staff here at the Little Red Door. Thanks again for your support, and now back to Fred. Thanks, Jim. Again, we really appreciate all the hard work and the generosity that you've shown to us over the years. I'd like to say thank you again to all of you who've tuned in this morning, to all of our table captains, and to our board members. We can't make the most of life and the least of cancer without your help. I'd also like to say thank you to our great sponsors today. Our presenting sponsor is Eli Lilly. We're grateful too for the sponsorship of IU Health, Anthem, MHS, Oak Tree Financial, Priority Physicians, Alvarez and Marsal, Capital Construction, Eskenazi, Express Scripts, Fifth Third Bank, Hoosiers Work for Health, Hoover Hall Turner, Key Bank, Franciscan Health Center, Walgreens, and the National Bank of Indianapolis. And as always, thank you to our friends at Markey's for doing such a great job hosting the program this morning.